and how did they come to America? They, uh, the usual, you know, gegangen wird Grenzen. They stole across borders. Uh, they had a mule, you know, like what they call the people that steal the Mexicans across the border, who was paid, who betrayed them at a certain point, is the story I remember. Uh, they wound up finally in Paris. My father went on ahead by himself. Now, he had a lot of brothers and sisters here already in New York who had come bef way like 1910 or 19, even earlier. Uh, he was the youngest of about six or seven siblings. My mother stayed in Paris, and she stayed there for a year. He went to Canada. He, they, he went somehow to Canada, and they were going to send him back. Now, whether they were going to send him back because of his eye, he had a bad eye, some health reason, or whether it was because he had a, a criminal record from their point of view. He was imprisoned for nine months in, the, in Modlin Fortress in Poland. Uh, for um, Bundist activities. Uh, did I say nine months? Yeah. And uh, uh, so maybe that's why. But they were going to send him back. So he did, you know, the usual story with the sheets. He tied some sheets together and uh, out, uh, uh, get, got out of the window where he was locked in a room to be sent back and landed in the snow, hurt his leg, made his way somehow to Toronto, I think. And then I have the impression Bundes comrades there helped him, and he made, on his uh, immigration papers, it says that he arrived from Toronto on the New York Central Railroad. So he didn't come on a ship through Ellis Island, that sort of, at all. So basically, I think he's an illegal alien. <laughs> Um, my mother stayed in Paris, worked as a seamstress, lived in an unheated attic, and worked for you know as a seamstress, and uh, saved up money. He sent her money. Um, she, as I remember the story, had uh, was able to obtain forged uh, visas or something, so she could come to America, which she did a year later. And they were reunited in New York, and they both went to work in the shops like everybody else. 